A virus concerns prompting a run on prescription drugs, some used in experimental treatments. Some of those medications also available just across our border. Here's Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez. Coronavirus concerns are prompting the public to search for answers in the pharmacy, answers that even the FDA doesn't have. According to the agency, at this time, there are no FDA-approved drug products to treat COVID-19. The FDA is working with drug manufacturers and investigational new drug sponsors to expedite the development and availability of COVID-19 treatments. That hasn't stopped people from buying, specifically, two drugs, explains local pulmonary and critical care physician Mario Gomez. And that one is particularly used for treatment of stomach infections like malaria, anamibiasis. And hydroxychloroquine in the U.S. is primarily used for uh, people with uh, conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and lupus erythematosus. People desperate for treatment that hasn't been proven effective are ingesting even similar sounding products. In Arizona, a couple took chloroquine phosphate, usually used to clean fish tanks. The man died. Even the correct drugs behind the counter are limited. Banner Health, a nonprofit healthcare provider, sent a strong message to pharmacies. We are strongly urging the medical community to not prescribe this medication to any non hospitalized patients. Local stores are keeping an eye on availability. HEB said they're stocked right now. But the demand has them working feverishly. They are not experiencing any shortages, but that could change quickly. Across the border, supplies are dwindling. We spoke to Dr. Tofik Salusares, president of a pharmacy union in Tamaulipas. Y efectivamente, las farmacias de la frontera también cayeron en desabasto de estos dos productos eh, a consecuencia de la especulación que existe y de la posibilidad de que este este medicamento tuviera algún efecto sobre la enfermedad. There is a legitimate use for these medications. Dr. Gomez says they're trying to ensure patients depending on this drug to treat chronic pain are receiving it. There are several patients already that are on, on those medications and there was a risk for supplying medications towards those patients. Just crossing the bridge looking for them is exposing another community to a problem growing rapidly along the border. Principalmente en Progreso es un, un lugar en donde pues mucho norteamericano va a consulta. Pasan los norteamericanos buscando hacerse algún tipo de estudio o alguna prueba para saber si están enfermos o no. Con esto lo que estamos haciendo es que estamos de manera inconsciente, muy seguramente diseminando la, la enfermedad. The U.S. and Mexico are asking the public to stay home, wash their hands, and be considerate of their health and others. Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.